Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating a DIY McGee & Co inspired fall wreath. I loved the colors in her new collection, so let's see if we can get a similar look for less. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need is a grape vine wreath. You can thrift this or purchase it new. I chose this six foot long black cohosh garland from Hobby Lobby. And then I simply went through and fluffed all of the pieces of the garland forward. I laid it out onto the wreath just to position it where I thought I would like it to be. And then simply used clear zip ties to secure it to the grapevine wreath. This allows you later to cut those zip ties off and then the garland is completely intact to use for another purpose or at another time. I chose three additional stems to add to my wreath. The first one you'll see is kind of a rustic looking seeded pod. If you watched my fall kitchen decorate with me, you'll know that I use these in my kitchen island as well. I used one stem of this, cutting apart to give me multiple pieces, and then I simply used hot glue to secure them to the grapevine wreath. And there was no rhyme or reason, just simply place these sporadically around the inside and the outside of the wreath. The second stem I chose, I selected this particular one because it was beige with just a slight plum or burgundy around it, trying to incorporate and work with those colors of the garland that we added on to the grapevine wreath. Doing that same process here, cutting this apart. Now I did use two stems here because I wanted more of those berries to add a little bit of variation in color to the wreath as well as some more texture. And you can can see right to the right of me I got several pieces off of these two stems and I did that same thing hot gluing lifting up the garland and just securing it right in to the body of the wreath going all the way around the wreath on the interior and the exterior just working those pieces in where I thought they looked best And the final stem that I chose was one that actually had berry pods on it. But you'll also notice that this one had a different leaf type to it. And I chose it particularly because it was green with a little bit of that black and plum. It just gives depth when you have that variation in color. So if you decide to do this in an orange or in a beige, when you choose your stems, just choose colors that incorporate your main color, but then add a little bit of contrast. I cut those berry stems apart. I utilized two of those and I just placed those all the way around the wreath again, putting them in where I thought that they looked the best. Don't overthink this guys. Just place them in where your eye leads you. You really can't go wrong. So I had approximately $38 in supplies. Our inspiration wreath was $168, so we saved $130. And here's how it turns out, and just a reminder of what our inspiration looked like. I think we did pretty good. This wreath can be hung on a front door, it can be attached to a standing floor length mirror, or simply hung on a wall in your house. I hope you've been inspired and you are enjoying this fall season as it just begins. And remember, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. Until next time, bye-bye.